When you create a formal outline, there is a particular numbering convention you use. The first level, your main points, are set off by Roman numerals, followed by a period. The second level is designated by uppercase letters, again, followed by a period. And the third level uses Arabic numbers, followed by, again, a period. Now the numbering conventions on the first three levels in an outline are pretty standard, while there is much less agreement as to how to number the remaining levels. Regardless, hanging and dents are used to help easily see the structure. Now Microsoft Word can make it very difficult to work with outlines because it often auto formats as you type. This video will look at two different ways to create numbered lists, one you do yourself and another using Microsoft Word's numbering features. To do this manually, you'll often have to take the first step of turning off Microsoft Word's Auto Format As You Type option. Unfortunately, there are no keyboard shortcuts that I know of that will do this for you, so you'll need to do this via Word Options. Now, getting to the Options menu may differ based upon the version you have of Microsoft Word. You'll either use the Microsoft Office button to get to Word Options, or, as in my case, choose the File tab, then Options, then proofing and now you can click the autocorrect options. From here you can choose the auto format as you type tab so you can finally see whether the automatic numbered list checkbox is checked and if it is you can uncheck it to turn it off. So now let's do it so you can see the process. Let's first see what happens when we don't turn off the auto format as you type. We will type in our first main point and before we get anywhere notice that it's automatically indented it and put it in Microsoft Word's format. I can't even select that but I can come over here to auto correct options and it gives me the option to undo automatic numbering so if you have this option you can turn it off here stop automatically creating numbered list and then control auto format options. But let's come back and go to control auto format options the way I just talked to you about it. We're going to go to file options and then under the proofing one you'll see the auto correct options. Here's the auto format and the auto format as you type. Automatic numbered lists are here. We're going to unclick that and we'll say OK, OK. And now if I want to do it it doesn't automatically do it for me. So now I'm able to put in what I want and I can move around everything using the hanging and dents so that everything comes up where I want it to be. And let's say I want to include an A right here. So an A and a B and I can do everything manually and it doesn't automatically format it for me. If you'd rather not do all of this by yourself, you can use Microsoft Word's numbering. The basics are that you highlight the paragraph or line that you want to number. Then you go to the Home tab on the ribbon and choose the Numbered List option in the Paragraph group. And then you'll choose the desired numbering format. Unfortunately, that's not all there is, as you will likely run into some problems that require you to reselect the numbering format, restart the list, or adjust the indents. But let's see how this works. Here we are in a document. If I want this to be a main point, formatting it as Roman numeral 1, I can highlight this paragraph, come up to the numbered list 1, and choose the number format that shows Roman numeral 1. If I want to do the same thing for this second point, I have two options here. The first is that I can do it again, and I come up here, I can choose this one or this one, and I can create it again. But notice here that it is a 1 and not a 2. If I have a Roman numeral 1 above, then this is going to be my second main point and that's going to be a Roman numeral 2. In which case, I can highlight it, right click, and I have the option to continue numbering. When I click that, I've got a 2. But let's undo that for a moment. I want to show you a different method. And let me highlight this first one. Go up to the Format Painter option. It's the one that looks like a paintbrush. And you'll see that there's a keyboard shortcut here as well. Control Shift C. All three keys pressed at the same time, simultaneously. And click Format Painter. Come down to the section that you want to look just like what I've got highlighted up there and I click it and there it goes. It's right there. You may still have to change this number, but it's a quick way to continue your formatting. I want these to be an A and B. So if I come up here to the numbered list again and I choose A and B number alignment left, then I've got it set up as A and B. Now it's not exactly perfect. I do need to change my hanging and dents. For example, I want to make sure that the A is right under the T and the F in that first main point. And also I'm going to need to fix the hanging and dents because I've got large font here and I need to have it go in five spaces. 
So this would be a subpoint to the main point above. So if I want to click on this, and I have to click the whole thing, because if I don't get this little paragraph marker in here, it won't identify the formatting. That's what holds the formatting for this piece. So again, I'm going to go to Format Painter, and then I'm going to highlight that. Now notice that it continued numbering at C, and we would like this to start at A. So the same way you did the continued numbering, you can do the Restart at A. So you would right click on it once you select it, and do Restart at A. Notice that it changed all the formatting. Our hanging and dents are perfect. So we are going to have to redo the hanging and dents. And we will bring it in to here and in again. And we've got the hanging and dents. And now we have the formatting the way we want it. And just as we did before, if we want to type something else, second sub point, then it's there. Now let's say I want to have a little one under here. Now I have a couple of options. First is I can go up to the top and choose the one, the little one, right over here but it changed that. I don't want it to do that. I want to tab in, but notice that it made it an A. So I want to come up to the top and I want to change that A to a 1 and then I'm going to of course need to fix all of that hanging indent and now I've got my first sub point under here and I have my second sub point. I'm going to do one more thing. Let's do a copy and paste all of this first one up here and we'll see what happens. We're going to copy it and this is going to be my third main point. So I'm now going to paste it and notice that I still need to set up this where I can restart at A and I will need to again set it up so that it is the way I want it to with the hanging and dents. But that's the way you do it. Now you know how to turn the auto numbering as you type on and off. You know how to use words numbering system and then you also have some ideas on how to handle any problems where you can reselect the desired format if it doesn't look like what you wanted it to do. You can restart the numbering or continue the numbering and you may need to adjust the indents. But now it should make it a whole lot easier for you to create outlines.